Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is my Buy Our Brows series. This is a series where I share many of the new makeup products and beauty products that are coming out into the market. Lots of holiday collections coming out, so we're gonna discuss them. This is a great way for me to share with you guys what products I'm gonna be picking up and which products I'm gonna be passing on just so that you know what to expect in the upcoming weeks on my channel, what I'm gonna be reviewing. And this series is the Will I Buy It series which was started and created by Samantha March. I will leave a link to her channel in the description box down below. And also I will be getting most of my information from these two pages right up here on the screen from Instagram. They will also be listed in the description box down below. Let's go ahead and get straight into this video. There's a lot of new releases, lots to say. I've already filmed this video once, but the first segment, which was like the first 30 minutes of the video, I can't find the footage. There was an issue with the card reader and it didn't read onto my memory card. And so I had half of the video filmed and half of it was gone. So we're gonna do this again. <sighs> it's been a crazy week, you guys. But we are here, second time's the charm. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video. First, we have this new palette from Wayne Goss. He is launching a new palette that is inspired by old Hollywood glamour. This is called the Coveted Tourmaline Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. He's also launching new eye pencils with this palette. Now this palette looks very deep and very beautiful. I'm very excited to play with it. He did reach out and let me know that he was going to be sending it over in PR. So as soon as it arrives, I will definitely get that video up for you. I think he just launched his video today on his YouTube channel, which I'm just, I haven't had a chance to watch it. I'm excited to see his inspiration behind this, but this is a really pretty palette. This will launch on September 28th on the Beautylish website at 10 a.m. PST. So I will definitely review it, give you guys my 411, swatch it next to a bunch of other palettes so that you guys can decide if this is something that you guys need in your collection. But I am definitely excited about this palette. It looks really pretty. Next up, we have the Pat McGrath Holiday Collection. Now, I, you guys, I just, <laughs> okay. So this launched yesterday when I'm filming it. Today is the 24th. So this launched on the 23rd. And I was awake off and on throughout the night before because I was worried, because it launched at 7 a.m. my time and I was worried I was gonna sleep through the alarm. So I was up and down all night long, waking up. Oh my gosh, it's, you know, I woke up like every hour because I didn't want to miss the launch because we, you just never know if Pat McGrath stuff's gonna sell out, right? So the early access started at 7 a.m. I read it wrong. I completely thought, I thought that the entire collection was gonna be available at that time. So when the palette went live at 7 a.m. for the early access, I went ahead and I was like, where are the blush palettes? And it just kept saying, coming soon, coming soon. So I was thinking, okay, the VIP early access starts at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So maybe the entire collection's gonna launch at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. No, 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 that's not the way it went. So, <laughs> I, you, I was so confused. So I've heard a few different dates. I'm not exactly sure when the rest of the collection is gonna launch. So if anybody else was as confused as I was, let me know in the comments down below because I thought the entire collection was gonna be available and it wasn't. So right now the palette is available on the Pat McGrath website and you can receive 10% off if you use the code MEGA10, okay? Uh, the palette retails for $78 for 18 shades, but in this collection, she also has these beautiful blush palettes, which I'm personally excited for the blush palettes because when all the blushes launched, I was on vacation, so I only bought two shades. And I bought Divine Rose and Rose Venus or something like that. Venus something, nude Venus. I only have two shades. In the two new blush palettes, we first have the Galactic Sun. Now this palette has two blushes and a highlighter. The, this palette does have the D Divine Rose blush, which I have, but it also has the Desert Orchid blush, which I've been dying to buy and just haven't bought it yet. And it also has the Golden Nectar highlighter, which launched with the blushes and I didn't buy that highlighter either. So I'm still buying this one because it's, I'm gonna get two shades that I don't have in my collection. 
The other blush palette is called Amber Allure, and this has Love Struck Blush, Paradise Venus Blush, and Venus Nectar, which is a new highlighter shade. So I don't have any of those shades in my collection. Those will all be new for me. So I'm very, very excited about that. And the blush palettes, I'm like dying to get my hands on. So she's also launching two Celestial Odyssey Luxe Quads. And one of them is called the Deep Space Divinity, which is so pretty. And then we have Bronze Borealis. And both of those quads look so beautiful. And of course, I'm going to be picking both of them up. She also has a Lust Lux Lip Balm with two shades. One is called Nude Temptation. And the other one is Naked Rose. So pretty. I might pick up one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then, of course, she has some legendary luxuries sets uh, for lipsticks. She has the Dream Lover and the Dark Star Duo. She also has the Mini Red Fantasy Lip Trio along with the Mini Divine Rose Lip Trio. I don't think I'll be getting any of the lips. I did order the palette, so the palette is ordered. I don't know when it will ship, but as soon as it arrives, I will do a full review on it and kind of break it down. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. Let's but move on to LYS Beauty. So I did already order these. As soon as they arrive, I will do a full review on them. So they launched a new Glow Beyond Collection. So they launched a new liquid highlighter, which is $19 and comes in three shades, which is Fearless, which is a warm bronze, Genuine, which is a rose gold, and Brave, which is a champagne. Now, I ordered the shade Brave in the liquid highlighter. Then she also has a pressed highlighter powder, which is a super fine velvet-like press highlighter. Uh, also $19, also comes in the three shades, the exact same shades as the liquid. Fearless, which is a warm bronze, Genuine, which is a rose gold, and Brave, which is a champagne. Then they also launched a uh, Think Bright Glow and Hydrating Serum. Uh, it's a vegan skin quenching face serum that leaves behind a succulent glow and the long lasting hydration. So these launched on the LYS Beauty website on September 22nd. I'm not sure when they're gonna be available at Sephora, but I ordered mine on the LYS Beauty website and I'm super excited to get them because I personally love LYS Beauty. They're just a great brand. Next up is this beautiful palette from Gucci. I did order this palette. I ordered it on the Saks Fifth Avenue website. I ordered it on a pre-order. It was $149, I pre-ordered it. On my order, it says that this palette should arrive by October 5th. We'll see when it arrives. I don't know how to pronounce it. Hopefully by the time I get the palette and do the review, I will be able to pronounce that. I highly doubt that though. Uh, because it, I think it's in French and pfft, I can barely speak English half the time. So trying to do another language is crazy. So this is a nature inspired palette. It includes three different textures. It has three metallic shades with a chrome finish. It has seven matte shades. The palette has a gold trim and a mirror, features a vintage inspired floral pattern. All shades and their names are inspired by flowers from a matte light blue aster to a metallic purple iris. Like I said, this palette retailed for $149. Okay, now first of all, let me just explain to you why I bought it. Number one, the packaging sold me instantly. I fell madly in love with that packaging. That packaging is gorgeous. And even if I hate the palette, it will probably like be a display for me because I love that packaging. I pray it's as beautiful in person as it is online, you just never know. I have really enjoyed the powder products that I've bought from Gucci. Number one, their bronzer is one of my favorites. I'm actually wearing their bronzer today. I love this bronzer. And then I also love the powder and I'm wearing the powder right now. The powder is beautiful. So these are like the softest, like buttery, yet pigmented, beautiful powders. I mean, Gucci has a gorgeous formula when it comes to that. Now, I didn't really love their foundation. I do like the primer. Not like a huge fan of the lip liner. The nail polish was a hot mess. I do not recommend the nail polish on any, I just haven't been able to get it to work. Yes, I am using it on my toes, but even when I do a top coat on it, it never looks smooth and pretty. I don't know what it is about the nail polish, which sucks because I kind of went ham in and bought like a ton of shades. 
and they just kind of went to waste. They're just not that great. So I might use them as a display because what else am I gonna use them for? They just don't look good. So I've had a hit and miss experience with Gucci. So I'm going into this review very open-minded to kind of see how it, where it goes from here, right? If it's a beautiful formula, beautiful palette, I think I'll be fine. We'll see, as soon as it arrives, I will do a full review on it. But the packaging sold me. And at the end of the day, that's all I got to say about it, you guys. That's it. It's pretty packaging. Okay, let's move on to this new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this palette I have ordered and I will review it as soon as it arrives. This is one of their holiday products for holidays of 2021. This is called the Primrose Palette. It's 12 shades of rose-inspired color story with larger pan sizes. It also has two blushes, which is Grapefruit and Saddle, which those blushes are so pretty. I'm excited to try them out. Uh, and it's already launched on their website. I'm not sure when it's coming to other retailers, but I did buy mine on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and it should be coming any day. So as soon as it arrives, I will do a full review on it. But it kind of, I don't know, I, it kind of sucked me in. Every, anything pretty like that, I just can't help myself. Next up, we have a full collaboration with Sigma and Disney. It's a Cinderella collection. This looks absolutely beautiful. The palette is $49. It has 14 shades. It also has a dual ended brush. Uh, it has a cheek duo palette for $35 that has two shades. It has a lip duo for $29. It has a brush set for $82. The full entire collection is $156. It has already launched on their website. And if you're interested in a review, I noticed that my friend Risa from Risa Does Makeup, she did a full video on it. I will leave her link to her video in the description box down below. If you guys are interested in seeing the, if you guys are interested in seeing a review on this collection, she did a great job on that video. So definitely head over and check that out. Next up we have from Too Faced. Again, this is a holiday collection. This is a this is available now at Ulta and probably online at the Too Faced website. Not sure, but this is called the Forbidden Fruitcake Mini Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $27. And that that is a really cute little palette. It is. I'm not gonna be picking it up, but very cute. The color story is very pretty and it's a nice little palette. It is. Next up, we have some beauty news from Becca. As we all know, Becca announced in the early spring that they were going to be closing down and they were not going to be a brand anymore. Well, somehow, some way, I'm not sure how it happened, but Smashbox decided to come in and save the day. So you can buy some of your favorite products from the Becca line on the Smashbox website starting sometime in October. I'm not exactly sure if Smashbox bought Becca or if there was some kind of, I'm not, I have no idea how it happened. It looks like you're gonna be able to buy the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter, and also the Under Eye Brightening Corrector with new shades. For those that love those products, they're still gonna be available. Right. Let's head over to Chic Profile. Chic Profile is a very great resource for high-end luxury makeup releases. And right off the bat, I see something from Shantakai. Whew, these are stunning to look at. Absolutely beautiful in every way. Look how beautiful these are. So these are for the holiday of 2021. They are available for pre-order. They have a highlighter bomb for 110. Whoa. Um, then we have a new blush for 75. And then it looks like they have a new eye sheen for 75. Um, I'm not going to be picking any of these up, but man, the look, the packaging is mind blowing. Just beautiful. They did a great job on the packaging. Okay. Next up, we have the new holiday collection from Hourglass. They did go ahead and launch their two new holiday palettes and they also launched a new ambient lighting palette. I did create a post on my community center and also on my Instagram stating that I wouldn't be reviewing any of the products this year on the holiday palettes and I'm not going to be only because I felt like I couldn't separate my feelings towards the brand. There's multiple reasons why I'm not reviewing these palettes. Some people understand it and some people don't and I get it. Like we all have our own opinion and you don't have to agree with me. I get it. Like 
I, I always accept everyone's opinion on things. Always ask, you know, every video I always say, if you have any experience with the products I'm using today and that your experience differs from mine, tell us in the comment section down below because I always feel like it's important to have a conversation and hear different points of views and I'm fine with it. Um, but this is just something I don't feel like I can review and separate my feelings about Hourglass from that review. I'm just kind of fed up with them overall right now. And it, you know, it hurts me in the long run because last year, my review of the Hourglass Holiday Palettes was one of my highest viewed videos from last year. So by me not reviewing them, I'm kind of missing out on that that view, but I it's not worth it to me. So this has nothing to do with money. This has nothing to do with um, trying to be a gatekeeper on who needs to be inclusive. It's just my overall thoughts about Hourglass as a brand has changed over the last several months. And I am not able to separate my feelings towards them as a brand and be able to give an honest review. Because I take a lot of pride in being honest about my reviews, if I can't separate my opinion about a brand, I shouldn't be reviewing it, right? That's not gonna give you a real honest review on a product. And the same goes for a brand that I'm in love with, right? So for example, I love the brand Charlotte Tilbury, but I haven't always loved what she's released. And I'm able to separate my love for the brand to review a product and give an honest opinion on it. With Hourglass right now, I'm not able to separate my feelings for the brand from that review. My integrity means more to me than popping up a video to get a ton of views, right? You know what, everybody has to run their own channel their own way. For me, I just couldn't do it. So I am pulling away for a minute from Hourglass. I'm not boycotting them. I'm not saying that I'm never gonna review anything from them from this point on. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying right now how I feel about them, I'm not able to separate my opinion about the brand from my review. That's what it boils down to. So I will not be reviewing their palettes this year. They are very beautiful. There are tons of reviews that are gonna be going up about these two palettes, multiple different skin tones. And I do know for those of you that are curious about the ambient lighting palette for a darker complexion, my friend Vicky J, she's gonna do a full review on that palette. And as soon as that video goes up, I will share it in my community center and also on Instagram. For those that have a darker complexion, you will know if that palette is dark skin friendly. Uh, so I will definitely keep my eye out for Vicky J's video and share with you guys. Uh, but for now, we're gonna move on to the next palette from Giorgio Armani. This palette launched a few weeks ago and oh my gosh, is it redonkulous. Like I can't even understand how I'm supposed to create a look with that palette when I don't even know what in the hell those shades are. The problem with this, first of all, is the red packaging against the colors in the pan. They do not go together and they do not inspire me to buy it in whatsoever. The red packaging against those purples and stuff throws me off. I just do not like this palette. And it kind of just looks like this big bubbly mess. And though I think they were trying to kind of come out of the box and create something different, which I admire that, but this in this isn't it. I understand that red is George Armani's color and I get that, but I would have even preferred the packaging to be black or white. Uh, red just throws all of those tones completely off and I just don't feel like it's appealing at all. And I just can't see how it is going to be worth it. I just don't. Um, yeah, so I am gonna pass on this palette. <laughs> not buying it. Next up, we have the Holiday Palette from Tom Ford. Now, I'm not sure if or when this will be coming to the United States, but this is called the Bitter Peach Palette. It is in the Wet Dry Formula, which I'm personally excited about. I love Tom Ford's Wet Dry Formula. It's my favorite from them. The other formula is Hit and Miss. This palette will be limited edition. I'm just not sure when it's gonna launch, but it's a beaut, right? It is really pretty. I'm excited about that palette. Now, also, Hermes is going to be launching new nail polish. 
I'm assuming these will probably be 80 some dollars. The shades are very fall and very beautiful. This is going to uh, join their permanent nail and hand care collection on October 15th. They launch in Asia. I'm not sure about other parts of the world, but they will launch then so we can start seeing some swatches and stuff coming out of Asia. There are 24 new nail colors. They are supposed to correspond with the lipsticks, but here's my thing. After my experience with the Gucci nail polishes, I'm just not so sure I'm even gonna look at these twice because I went ham and bought way too many of those and was very disappointed. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I just don't think I'm gonna be picking it up. I really don't. We also have another iQuad from Tom Ford. This looks really beautiful. Wow, this is called the Lava Luster Palette and it has a new formula. I am excited to try this new formula. Uh, it's all about being super sparkly and it looks really beautiful. So I am very, very excited about this palette. And I mean, that palette is shining on her arm. I'm so excited. Cannot wait to get it. I hope we get it sometime soon, but it looks absolutely beautiful, right? What? That's it. As things pop up, we will do this video again. But for now, that's it for some of the new releases and what's gonna be coming up on my channel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.